Alrighty, today we're keeping it in 60 seconds because I am fully aware that people don't want to watch me talk for three minutes. Not on TikTok anyway. If you wanted long form content, we would be on YouTube. Today I want to talk about some of the specifics of ADHD because Gabby Hanna has been misrepresenting it, but I don't have a lot of time. So let's talk very fast. This actually might be a two part part two. <laughs> First and foremost, let's address the tweet of oftentimes bipolar disorder and ADHD are misdiagnosed. That's not true. The only thing that I could find that she must have twisted in her weird Gabby Hanna brain is that about 20% of people with ADHD also have a comorbidity of bipolar disorder, meaning they also have a diagnosis of bipolar disorder, not that they were misdiagnosed. There was also an article by BuzzFeed that I will talk about in the next part. Okay, this is part two of part two on what Gabby Hanna has gotten wrong about ADHD. If I've somehow just popped up on your For You page, please go back and watch the first part of this. As I said in my last video, I found a BuzzFeed article when I was trying to find statistics about people being misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder when they actually have an ADHD diagnosis. Um, and it came up as these people were misdiagnosed for years and found out they had ADHD. Most of the people written about in that article had depression or anxiety um, as a diagnosis prior to finding out about their ADHD. Their misdiagnosis was anxiety or depression. I wouldn't put it past Gabby to be using an article from BuzzFeed as her source for that original tweet. And it's not a good source. I don't mean BuzzFeed news in general. I mean it doesn't back up what she's claiming. Okay, uh, part 2.3. <clears throat> Okay, this is 2.3 on what Gabby Hanna is getting wrong about ADHD, and this will, I'm gonna try and make this the last part because this is obnoxious, I'm sorry. So, setting aside her being completely wrong about the misdiagnosis of ADHD and bipolar. If a doctor has pointed out you may have symptoms of bipolar, you might just wanna get tested for bipolar. Don't blame ADHD, please. That is bad for both the BP and the ADHD community and spreads misinformation. And this all ties in to one of the biggest misrepresentations she has on her platform about ADHD. ADHD does not have mania as one of the hallmarks. Gabby tries to pass off mania as hyperactivity. There's nothing wrong or shameful with experiencing mania but it's not ADHD.